Your mother is calling towards you in a soft voice. Mother, oh my god. I can't believe you did this to dad. But wait, he's my dad, right? I am I am so confused. I'm gonna spit. It's like gold. I spit out gold. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Beloved Bittizens, we hope you're staying safe and fighting the unique combination of boredom and anxiety that we all find ourselves in. Ain't that the truth? Our whole team has been working from home and it's been tougher than usual to keep our aggressive uh, update schedule up. Wow, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I'm really glad that you guys are working really hard and uh, uh, thank you so much, BitLife, for, you know, I can really tell you appreciate your fans and you do everything you can, so just... Do your best. So there's now God Mode. Edit anyone you want in the game as you're playing. Set up your own stats and appearance on custom lives. Oh. I'm gonna make them pay. <laughs> they didn't do anything wrong. There's now eye exams and resulting prescriptions. Oh, finally, for the visually impaired people. Thank you. I can now complete my transformation and put my glasses on. Adoption has been overhauled. Fly your own private planes when you go on vacation. And of course, more challenges. Wow. I'm excited. I'm excited for God mode. Oh, and there is a gold digger challenge, which I... I'm probably not gonna do this episode, but <laughs> I would like to dedicate another episode for this. Which I better hurry up and get to it, because it's gonna be over in three days. If you guys remember correctly, we've already done this challenge, but it would be uh, nice to try to beat this. Uh, the challenges are very uh, challenging in BitLife, I think. I can see a lot less people have uh, uh, completed this challenge. Alright, so how do we activate God Mode? Which just sounds so exciting. Oh, there it is! Select your appearance, select your attributes. Oh, so you can just start off, off the bat. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is... This is gonna be so fun. All right, I'm excited. I gotta say with all the events that are going on in our world right now I'm excited to see what BitLife has to say about it. Usually they always do. They always say something So that's gonna be interesting. All right, so here's the thing. So for God mode It's a one-time purchase and you do have to buy it. That's fair enough You know, I understand the BitLife has got to make money and this seems like to me. It's worth it I, I like this uh, a lot better than the time machine so, so we can start new lives with any appearance and attributes you want edit anybody in the game while you're playing Oh, that's gonna be good for some challenges. Well, not that we're gonna use it for challenges. I'm not trying to cheat. Hey, if I pay for it. <laughs> Change the people in the game to anyone you want from real life. Oh, that's so sweet. Are you stuck in quarantine right now? We are too. To help with boredom and anxieties, we want to make God Mode free uh, for you through April 11th. Stay safe. Wow, BitLife's so like, I'm telling you, like, I honestly respect BitLife so much. They just, they've just been so great, to be honest. I will pay for it. Oh, what? We have facial hair now? <laughs> uh, do we, I don't think we had that before. All right, now I'm really gonna create myself. Uh, leave, leave it down in the comments of what you would like to see me do with God mode, okay? But yeah, if you if you can't afford it, you better get it while you still can. Damn, we got three shades of brown? All right, I'm gonna give myself that. We all know why this paper. You know, I kind of already did this, but yeah, yeah, let's just do this. <laughs> we have the evil brows. Hey, anybody up for Abraham Lincoln challenge? <laughs> that would be good, right? I wonder if they updated some of the hairs. I think they probably have. That's that's looking like it, right there. That is it, chief. <laughs> Wait up, Nani? Wh wh where's my green? I mean, there's like yellow. I know my hair is getting faded, but like, that's yellow. All right, I'm gonna assume that we can change it later, so I'm gonna stick with that. Now, this is interesting, the fact that we can actually, like, mess with the attributes. So here's a lot of attributes that we don't actually see a lot of. Athleticism, fertility. Oh my god, I'm so fertile. But there's even a spectrum of... <laughs> Interesting, very interesting. So we get to see the kind of the behind of the scenes of the way characters work in bit life I think that's very interesting. Well, if I'm gonna be a god, like obviously I'm gonna make smarts 100% and, and honestly like I mean, it's really not that far off. Karma, amazing. <laughs> oh god, that means we could really screw people up bad. I am so freaking happy. I'm the happiest person on earth. Fertility, man, I just gotta look at somebody and they gregnant. Discipline, all of it. Athleticism, I'm buff. <laughs> Well, if I'm God, I expect that cry to be <laughs> Like I expect an echo <laughs> I am so perfect that when I was born, the doctors cried. They started crying because they're like, oh my god. Like there was trumpets playing when I was born. You didn't actually think that I would uh, be good to everyone else, right? I may be God, but I'm not a good God. <laughs> That's for sure. I was born in Los Angeles. I was the result of an affair. Well. Looks like someone's getting smitten. My name is BG Bikerson. My father is Perry Bikerson, a retired uh, interior designer. Well, let's see how long you live, father. My mother is Avery Hux, a professor age 43. We have a cat named Delilah. Can I just like make my cat never die? <laughs> Hey, look at that. We finally see those glasses right there. I got to give myself glasses, obviously. His generosity is not very much religiousness. Well, he better get very religious because... 
You know why. You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> that, was, that was just so hilarious, the change. But bro, look, my hair is right there. There's my hair. What the, where was it before? <laughs> Me when I get older. <laughs> my eyes turned red because of how evil I was in those video games. Yes, that's my father, Perry Biker son. I got my green hair from him. I don't know why I sound like a biker. I'm gonna make my father super crazy. Uh, he is not generous at all. He is not very happy. His looks are great though, that's where I get them. Money poor? Oh, I can make him poor? Oh my god, we can make him gay! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love this already! Oh, I'm gonna make my father gay? It's gonna be very comp- it's gonna complicate things quite a bit, uh, considering, you know, he's with my mom, or with- yes, my mom. I'm gonna give him zero willpower to see if that affects things. I love this already so much. Alright, save. <laughs> my father seems like a whole different person. One day he just changed and he never changed back. Goo goo gaga, bow down to me. It all changed when BG Bikerson was born. Oh, uh, we can't- we can't edit our cat at all. I just want the power to make people, like, uh, uh, invincible and they never die. Okay, can we revive people? Oh my god. So much potential. Your mother has married your new stepfather. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, I know I made him like gay and all, but I mean, she moved on so fast. It never even said they broke up. Oh no, I was a result of an affair. It makes sense. Well, no wonder why my dad changed so much. He was so traumatized by the affair that he just changed completely. Your mother is calling towards you in a soft voice. Mother. Oh my god. I can't believe you did this to dad. But wait, he's my dad, right? I'm I'm so confused. I'm gonna spit. It's like gold. I spit out gold. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? My mother married Antonio Weed, a 30 year old a 38 year old flight attendant with a child. She changed her name to Avery Weed. I spit out some liquid that was in my mouth into my face and my caretaker. She wasn't happy. Oh no, my looks are going down. We have to fix that. Like, I don't know if this is possible, but I would like to see like some Bruce Almighty powers. Like, just in the middle of a game, just change things and decide, like, if someone's gonna get hit by a car or something. Oh! Grim Reaper mode! I'm just saying, that's a good idea, I think. Grim- to become the Grim Reaper in BitLife. Alright, my mother cheated? That's a no-no. I'm gonna have to do her bad. Alright, we're definitely giving her red eyes. I gave my dad red eyes, but, you know, that's good right there. She's got the Karen haircut. <laughs> well, she is my mom, right? Okay, she, she doesn't have glasses. That's okay. Gonna make her super crazy, not generous. Very unhappy. I don't want her to die, so health's fine. I don't care about that. Looks very bad. Money, very poor. Very religious for some reason. I'm gonna complicate things more in her life. Uh, make her not smart. Willpower, zero. There we go. Now my mother seems like a whole different person. While watching Curious George on TV, your mother asks what you want to eat for lunch. What will you choose? She's like, what do you want? <laughs> With her red eyes. Well, so far, okay, so I thought maybe what I did to my dad caused her to leave my, my father, but I don't think so. I mean, because they're still together. New friend, a little boy named Stalky wants to become your friend. Become friends with him. But I could, I could edit him. <laughs> no. We'll save it. I'll spare him for now. I thought maybe we should take this life a little slow. I do tend to go through my lives uh, very fast because, you know, I kind of want to get through things. But uh, this one, we're not. We're just kind of coasting it and seeing how our con how our god mode, uh, you know, powers do change things. Sorry, I don't know how long that's been there. My bad. Uh, family vacation. Your mother, <laughs> with her evil eyes, wants to take you on a road trip to visit the relatives in Little Rock, United States. I refuse to go. God does not have to do anything he wants to do. I don't even know why I'm in school. Uh, life is just so hard when everything is perfect. I feel like this would be also be good for a death note challenge because that's the kind of whole, the, you know, the whole thing of that. Wait, does this actually work with challenges though? Because if it does, then that would be very interesting. So my stepfather and her, uh, his daughter doesn't look very happy. It's probably because I made my mother, uh, gay and <laughs> understandably that would complicate things. Yeah, right? Integrity. You broke your mother's phone while trying to take it apart. What will you do? Admit that I broke it. What is she gonna do to me? She best watch out. Look at that evil face up there. My classmates and I have been fighting about what the best Disney movie is. It's Mulan. It's Mulan. Okay, I don't know about the best, but that's the one I love. I love Mulan so much. What are you gonna do? Disagree with me? I'll throw a flying ice cream truck at your face. Oh, I really wish we could do stuff like that. Casting call! Your elementary school is putting on a rendition of The Wizard of Oz, and there is an open casting call for a production. I will get the lead role. <laughs> don't you worry. I was crown ruler of the monkey bars at recess. 
Ah, yes, the monkey bars at school. Man, I, I remember those. I remember smacking my head on them all the time. So I know we can edit people, but can we edit ourselves at some point? Like, is there a, can we edit? Can I change my stats whenever I feel like it? Or is it just like, I don't know, I need to explore here. Quarrel, you and your stepsister. Oh, Quarrel, huh? Natalie are bickering about why she wore your clothes. Why did she do that? What's wrong with you? Are you actually okay? What will you do? You dare touch a god? Attack! <laughs> I'm gonna kick her ear. Oh no, I picked neck. Ah, oh, I kicked her neck. <laughs> oh. Ow! Yikes, she stomped you. She tempt. She stamped your buttocks. She squeezed your torso. Not my torso. That's my favorite part. Yeah, because I forgot. I mean, I we should be able to make ourselves rich, right? Maybe it is. Maybe it's more limited than I thought. I gave my dad no money. Okay, never mind. Let's do that. Let's give him money. Oh, dang. He rich now. So, if we... <laughs> So, of course, naturally, we can ask for money and he'll give it to us, right? I mean, that's a workaround right there. After all I've done, I literally am the reason why he has money. <laughs> and he wouldn't give me any. Someone just might fall down a flight of stairs if they're not careful. Evil stepfather. While your mother wasn't around, your stepfather told you that he thinks you are a, a source of frustration. What will you do? See, I think it would be really cool, you know, just as some feedback, if there was God mode options. Because that's the whole, I mean, to me, that's, that's what I expect when it comes to God mode. It's to be like, oh, God mode options. And then you can kind of pick. I know, like, how would that be different from the Grim Reaper? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But, I'm just, you know, I'm just giving out ideas. You can, you can take it or leave it. I'm rumble with him. I'm like, how old? I'm 10 years old. What's he gonna do? I'm gonna twist his skull. You would think that means, like, twisting his neck. But, I, I, I think it's actually twisting his skull, which is very... Not very much damage. I mean, after all, what can a 10 year old really do to a skull? Oh no, my cat died. I should just build a reviver. Nope. God, I'm not a very good god, am I? Your friend Charles has unfriended you. What will you do? You know, it's in your best interest that you salvage our relationship. No. Oh, he got away. He got away. Stalky Stalkerson is about to unfriend us anyway. So, I mean, he literally didn't do anything wrong with me, but I'm gonna give him zero health. I'm gonna give him zero everything. I'm not sure what's gotten into my friend lately. <laughs> He's like, everything is just awful. Oh, that's right. I was going to kill my evil stepfather. All right, yeah. Your stepfather has threatened to leave you behind while at the grocery store. Are you, you really? Wow. I'm going to tell my mother. Stereotypical step parent. You told your mother about your stepfather's behavior. Why are we unhappy? How does our happiness go so far down? We got left at the grocery store once and it was the end of the world. You, sir, are going to be crazy. Generosity. Nope. 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 I am also not sure what's got into my stepfather lately. Look at me, I'm all happy about it now. I don't know if we're gonna be able to edit ourselves when we're adults, but... Some friends that are starting high school are encouraging you to try out for the soccer team with them. What will you do? I understand. I mean, I am the perfect being, after all. Uh, I guess I'll try out with them. I'll just get a few trophies and go to the... FIFA. <laughs> I obviously know nothing about soccer. I will go to the video game, yes. Tryouts were a formality. It was obvious that I was going to get in. Well, my happiness is just skyrocketing up, so I don't- maybe that's- maybe it doesn't really matter that, our, that they went down, you know? Grapevine, your friend has a friend who knows a girl who is friends with this guy who works at BitLife, and apparently he told her that the BitLife team is working on something called God Mode that will be added to the game, but he doesn't know if or when it might happen. Your friend is now speculating what God Mode could be and is asking for your thoughts. Well, this was obviously something that was here before. Add, what will you say? Add your real life friends, change the looks of anyone, strike lightning on your enemies. Can you really do that? Set your own stats. Well, it seems like they at least had that as a thought to strike a lightning on your enemies because that's something I want to do. See, that's what I'm talking about. Is that their way of doing a survey? <laughs> it's kind of kind of genius, to be honest. They look at my stats are just going up. It's like a self self sustaining process of just going up. Oh, look at this! A new friend, Stephen Stewart. Let me let me take a look at your stats. Oh, looks like you're not good enough. I reject you. I'm gonna get so bad. It's like no, nobody can be my friend. Nobody's perfect enough. All right, let's see how my evil stepfather is doing since I completely destroyed his life. Uh, let's have a conversation with him. He was? Wow, so it's like that. All right, well, I was gonna give you a little bit of money, but I guess not. And it's also, let's see if our father... Look, father, you beautiful man, you. Uh, this is your last chance. You give me money now, or you're not gonna have any money. You take your pick. Okay, so somebody's greedy now. They obviously don't deserve happiness. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it's because I gave... I wasn't... I made him not generous. That That's exactly why. Oh, well, let me fix that. 
<laughs> when you're a god, but you shoot yourself in the foot. He's like, what? I can't help it. I hate everything. <laughs> I hate, I am not generous at all. I still made my father into Scrooge. All right, let's make him happy. The ironic part about it is I made him very religious. And yet he's not generous at all, which, you know, is supposed to be the opposite. All right, no wonder. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, now this should be a little different. He gave me $64. Dude, I know you're rich. I know you're rich. Wait a minute. If we kill him and he dies being rich, we'll inherit the money. Ah, very nice. I know I'm evil. I never said I was a good god. All right, I want to get out of high school and see if anything changes. <laughs> okay, I'll, I guess I'll agree to become captain. I'm obviously so good at soccer. I just look at the ball and it just flies. It gets scared. It just flies to the gold. I can walk on water. It's like, whatever. <gasps> Oh wow, he actually died. I didn't I didn't do that. I didn't strike him down, I swear. Your father passed away at the age of 84. He died while sleeping peacefully. It is your responsibility to plan his funeral. I will plan it. I'm broke. He gave me $64. I am sorry, dad, dad, you gotta go to science. Oh, wow! To help the healing, I got $466,000. I have a plan. <laughs> and we graduated from high school. I mean, I don't even need to work. What am I even doing this for? All right, sure, I'll be a freaking patrol man. I'm gonna be walking around like the Terminator. They just like, they shoot me and they're just like these freaking holes, you know, they just heal up. What is your salary expectations? Oh, just all of it. The more the merrier. Oh, they didn't offer me that. Oh, your funeral. All of a sudden, everyone in my life is so, so generous and so rich. You have money? I'm like Oprah over here giving away money. Even though I hate your stepfather, you do have lots of money and you can give me lots of money. Dang, she gave me like a full freaking paycheck. <laughs> oh, even, oh, cause so he hates us. Oh, wait, maybe we can do things in crime. Maybe? Maybe. We can impale them, electrocute them. Elephant laxative? Oh, let's try that. You tried to sneak- Oh crap, I can already tell it didn't work. An elephant laxative into your stepfather's morning smoothie. He called the police on you. I'm ri- I could just get out, right? <laughs> Public defender. No, I'll just pay. I don't want to- Oh my- Oh my god. The judge asked to make- The judge has asked you to make a plea surrounding your charge for attempted murder. If you plead guilty, you may receive a shorter sentence than if you are convicted on a trial. Possible sentence 37 years. No way. I Am not guilty And I've been convicted Elephant laxative. Is it really that bad? Oh, so I read I read up on it. Apparently there's a, a fake story They said it's fake at least they gave an elephant a, a laxative and it basically pooped on the person that's taking care of the elephant and Killed them. <laughs> so I, I don't know if that it's like a, I, they said it's a fake story. Okay, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I would really like to see how that plays out in the game. How you gonna send God to jail though? I should just be able to go oh, and get out, like just float through the windows, like, <laughs> or something, like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think this should be easy. A massive inmate named Tinder Buddy is trying to strong arm you into giving him your banana. Bananas are pretty rare in prison. I will not refuse to do that. He looked you. He looked at you in astonishment. Can you edit the inmates, uh, like abilities too? No, you can't. All right, so it's not that deep. I'm, I'm assuming that later on things will probably be changed. <laughs> you have received some mail from your mother. She sent a coloring book. Thank you, mother, my evil-looking mother. What is that legal coloring? Your coloring book has been confiscated. Come on, I know you can do like art in jail, right? But look, he still, he still looks happy. He's just not really happy. It's a lie. It's a sham. He's a pretending. Okay, I'm gonna save that life right there. Let me know if you want me to continue that life, but don't, don't leave just yet. Scrub of the day time. Today, scrub of the day goes to... Rihanna. If you want to be scrub of the day, be sure to scrub scribe, all right? And always don't forget to scrub those hands. Bye-bye.